Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hi there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. And we see this is uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene saying there's an insurrection happening now on Capitol Hill. Capitol Hill. And by the way, guys, thank you so much for your support over on Patreon as we want to uh, thank Laurel, uh, who is our newest patron, along with Moeko. Thank you guys so much for your support. Couldn't do it without your support over there. Uh, yeah, you know, again, this looks relatively calm. There is a little bit less calm going on. Here we go. Let's just listen in and see what she has to say. Um, you know, again, there's so much left-right dichotomy going on in this. You guys, I know, understand. You totally get it. We get it. Pro-Gaza protesters in Cannon House office building Capitol Hill holding ceasefire banners, chanting, not in our name. You know, ceasefire would be wonderful. Peace would be wonderful. Here you have this one. Uh, you could see some t-shirts here. And we have people being arrested here. You know, it would be wonderful if peace truly breaks out all over the globe. I, I, again, it's going to take it's going to take literally the militaries just putting down their weapons to really really change things. And but we can start to change things by again uh taking power away from the system as much as we possibly can. As you see another young man apparently going to get hauled away and arrested. It would be wonderful to see people of all different backgrounds, ethnicities, you know, because again, the, the whole reason why you have such a small number of people in these secret societies being able to control the planet is, is because they get us to do it to ourselves. They have humans policing other humans just to make sure that no one does anything and it's like layers of an onion you know you have the the outer layers where there's the most people and you know if you see your neighbor doing something wrong something's that something that might be against the hoa well you you run and you tattle you know instead of walking over and talking to your neighbor saying hey you know, can we talk about doing something different and that neighbor, you know, being the same way? Well, sure. You know, if you don't like that, let's talk about it. There's all of these little control structures in place that go on up the, the pyramid scheme it is exactly what it is. It's the biggest pyramid scheme ever. And we need to step out of it so that we're no longer supporting it because the only way these things can keep going and stay together it is if you know people are doing what they're doing and they're they're tattling on each other and they're going after each other and uh, we got to step back and always always check the self always check the self if you're pointing your finger anywhere you take a good look you have four fingers pointing right back at you so we always have to check our own behavior first yeah absolutely you know and some people that don't really listen but assume things will make comments here and there uh talking about well you're obviously uh pro hamas and we're certainly not pro hamas we're not pro any sort of you know violence to stop other violence because this is a cycle of violence and this cycle has been going on for thousands of years the way to stop the violence cycle is is not through violence but through the opposite peace and understanding and coming together and not participating anymore not participating in the system and and it's going to take really massive amounts of people 
understanding that this is a concerted effort from the system to perpetuate the never-ending wars and violence through the use of different nationalities, the whole concept of nations, different religious ideologies, different political ideologies, and utilizing people that have this innate sense of greed uh, that will trample upon others in, in order to you know better themselves using people that really should not be in any position of authority because they're doing it out of greed and ego we need a totally different type of system put in place where really the people that are are looked to for guidance are ones that are peacemakers and and not warmongers and not doing it for the money or the or the ego or the greed and you know this is obviously going to keep escalating here's a drone attack on the al harir american base in northern iraq why is there an american base in northern iraq why is there uh u.s bases in syria you know again it's because the u.s has been used as the police and the military of the power structure and they've also used the rest of the NATO nations, primarily led by the U.S. Now they're going to throw these nations in the trash heap and they're going to lift up the BRICS nations, China, Russia and, and others, into a place of preeminence as they subjugate and basically uh, destroy Babylon the Great. Uh, yes, again. You know, I, I love to see people waking up and it's it's wonderful when we see people commenting on, well, don't you, you know, some, so-and-so said to me, don't you see Bible prophecies being fulfilled? Well, yeah, don't you know they wrote it? I love it when it's not me saying that. That feels so good. It, it's truly the Anunnaki handbook. It's the Illuminati handbook. It, they're the ones who wrote it. They are the controllers. Every time you see an organized religion, whatever the name, it is being sent down from, you know, you might as well have, you know, printed and distributed by the Anunnaki on every single Bible across the world, whether it be the Torah, whatever. They're all that. That's what they're there for is to control us and get us hating on each other. Yeah, absolutely. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. <laughs> yeah, merciful? Again, if you look to Islam, which, which views itself as a culmination of Judaism, Christianity, and then Islam being the culmination, well, look back to that Old Testament God and telling Joshua, exterminate every man, woman, and child, every little baby, exterminate them all. And this is in Jericho. But that was just one of many different uh, city-states that were, were put to the sword, again, by the original, uh, well, the original taking of the land of Canaan by the Israelites. And no, it doesn't mean that we're against the Israelites. Uh, again, there's, there's Jewish people that are against Zionism, and Zionism is, is basically creating that nation state for a particular religious group or a group that says they are of a particular religion whether or not they're really of that religion and then that's up for debate and many people will debate it uh it, within that religion themselves if if we look closely at what's going on now this this is just all about creating excuses for atrocities so merciful yeah no there was no mercy in many many instances in the old testament and and again when we look to some uh some of the things that are actually condoned in the in in the bible and in the quran uh, again whether it's beheading infidels or whether it's slaves obey your human masters colossians 3:22 Look at Colossians 3.22. Look at Genesis 3.22. And look to, again, the Skull and Bones Society having 3.22 on its banner. Yeah, it, it, this is, again, you know, it shows you that this is all divide and conquer. So as long as, you know, you have people that are still 
completely asleep. Even though they think they're awake, they're, they're as asleep as you can get. And that's exactly what an, a, a zombie apocalypse is. It's the unveiling of the fact that people have been sleepwalking without understanding how manipulated they are. So Reuters reports that U.S. military intercepted two one-way attack drones attempting to uh, strike the Al-Assad air base in Iraq. And again, it's all getting ready to go up in flames. Literally, U.S. has issued a travel warning for Lebanon. There's travel warnings. You can't keep up with them all. You can't keep up with them all. Yeah, you know, because it's going, it's going hot. I mean, this is going real hot. And yeah, at the same time, I, I, I did expect, and and you guys can check our old videos. I was even thinking of compiling, uh, taking the time to go through and compile and just show just how accurate we have been. And I know I see a lot of. A lot of comments out there saying you guys have been spot on and and it's not really us per se it, it's so easy to see the patterns it's so easy to see the bigger picture they are not original they do the same things over and over yes you know different ages but again uh, the Crusades the Islamic jihads these these are relics from the past that are being brought up yet again the oldest playbook there is, is is get two religions fighting against each other inflame it and just step back and watch them do the dirty work for the controllers mm -hmm. and and they just you know they gather money they gather resources these controllers they get to do whatever they want they go on vacations they buy really big planes they have really huge mansions and that's because they've done exactly what mike said they get a couple of religions they light the torch and then it goes off and they really don't have to do anything any longer their their work is done and as long as you have people who are defending the the bible the torah the quran and and you know preaching under the good word of god almighty who is actually an extraterrestrial we're going to continue to have this problem but right now the unfortunate thing is is most people who need to hear this they are so asleep in that zombie form like mike was talking about they're not able to wake up they're not going to wake up in fact it makes them very very angry even if the even if the words are true it, it doesn't really matter they're not capable of breaking out of that and that is the zombie apocalypse where you have a soul inside of you but your your limbs and your body and your actions are not matching that soul that is inside of you it's like you're being overshadowed by reptilians they are really puppeting people to a very high degree your soul is there but the reptilian is hiding inside the ego and it's making the moves and the soul is is not the soul is basically rendered helpless yeah and you know I, I was just looking to try to find a tweet i saw by nikki haley which made me uh you know immediately respond because uh it was just so um brutal it really it was so brutal it was kind of almost shocking but it shouldn't be shocking uh, and again this is a time of uh, division as you have right here mobs in tunisia uh, burning down a synagogue you know and again this is all that it, it it doesn't matter if it's left or right it doesn't matter if it's islam and judaism it's the same tools being put into effect u.s dod released declassified images and videos of coercive reckless and risky chinese pla operational behavior over 180 incidents against u.s aircraft have occurred since fall of 2021 more in the past two years than a decade before well that's because again these are all test runs and it's going to go hot as you have uh, mi5 head warns of epic scale of chinese espionage epic yes because you know the direct attack on the U.S. homeland it is literally only months away. Uh, if if what we feel is accurate, uh, we are probably, I would say, about seven, eight, maybe nine months away. But seven or eight is, is what we've gotten as a general outline 
uh, before, you know, there are Chinese and Russian troops on our soil. And that doesn't, you know, count the ones that are already on the soil. As again, I've seen estimates of 100,000 uh, PLA, CCP troops that have been infiltrated in with the migrants and immigrants. 100,000 actual Chinese troops. Uh, and we actually have, you know, family members that have, have seen what feels like that in their own little communities in the American Southwest. So again, Putin and Xi had that meeting uh, and defined their visions of a new world order where, yeah, the U.S. and NATO are no longer the dominant powers. There's, there's a new order, a new world order in town. And here you have Putin saying, why did they deliver the attackums? For what? Let them come to us and eat blinis. We will serve them tea. They have lost the war anyway. The war is already over. This, now, that's, a, that's a, quite a statement. Because, you know, who won the war? Was it really China and Russia? Uh, it's the control system. Again, many people have said, how could you possibly you know, infiltrate and conquer America. Well, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. Uh, and again, we were just talking too. I do expect EMPs will be used. I, I don't think that it will be like a major EMP where it takes out grid to grid, uh, you know, the entirety of the U.S., per se, I, I think it will be smaller ones and, and it will be focused over the major um, major metropolitan areas and also military areas. And then you have the infiltration uh, with all these sleeper cells as well as just, you know, again, the migrants and the immigrants that have been promised new homes, you know, new jobs, new everything. Uh, again, somebody had said uh, the statement that the immigrants are your replacements because they are already part of the system and and they had to acquiesce to agree to become part of the system when they got that UN card. Meanwhile, the USS Mount Whitney dispatched the Eastern Mediterranean, one of two amphibious command and control ships in the Navy flagship of the US 6th Fleet. Um, yeah, high-ranking brass on board. It feels like uh, the fleet is being set up to be toasted. Honestly, it really, really does. And Cindy has that strong feeling, too. Um, you know, this is, again, uh, the makings of a much bigger Pearl Harbor. And, yeah, pr propaganda everywhere. The truth is has been blindfolded for sure. And But the, the big thing is the fact that people recognize this now. But still, they got to go that one step further and recognize, you know, again, it's every aspect of it. And every time I hear people say, you know, that, that word, well, I am a patriot. And I just think you're, you're just saying I'm asleep. I don't get it yet. Because if you are a patriot, what are you patriotic about? The nonstop wars, uh, more wars, uh, than any other country during the whole history of the U.S. I understand that we've been brought up thinking we are the white hats, but then we have now realized, you know what, to the rest of the world, to a big segment of that world, we are the black hats. The whole time we thought we were the white hats. And do you think there's even a single true Christian anywhere in the Vatican? Uh, n n no, think again. It's, it's just, again... Another tool to be used by a dark control system. So no, we're, you know, we, we don't support or condone any of the acts of violence because that just perpetuates more of the same. Mm -hmm. It's ongoing. It's ongoing. Um, it, it's a nonstop pedaling the bike forward, just keeping things going on and on and on. If, if you choose violence, you're choosing the control structure and you know, a lot of people are very attached to talking about, you know, the deep state going down. The deep state, shh. Like, it's some sort of secret. It, that That's the biggest CIA psyop on the history of the planet. I mean, it probably also goes into aliens putting it together because so many people are still buying into it when every single person... They're all, everybody in, in Washington, everybody across the board in every every country, every place, everywhere. They're all part of the deep state plan. They, they all are playing their part. 
we are here on our own. We really do have to do this on our own. But we wouldn't be put in these positions if we were not equipped. So please do not feel that you don't have enough power because you do. We are creator beings. We come from source. You don't get any more powerful than that. Absolutely. And so I see these two adorable little guys. And it makes me think about, you know, the sacrifice of animals on the Temple Mount and how so many people would be saying, wow, they're going to build the third temple. Do you realize how many animals were slaughtered on that Temple Mount? And, and again, nothing but a demonic entity would demand the blood sacrifice. And that's just the truth. The only entity that would demand a blood sacrifice is something that is truly demonic. Yeah, it's a very large gin, and, and that's exactly what you have with the, the two, three you know, major world religions. Um, okay, well, so maybe we're okay. I think we might be okay. They just tried to stop it, but interestingly enough, I think we got it. I hope so. As always, guys, stay prepared. Keep putting out your positive vibes and energy. Much love. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.